put the spoon on your nose, right? And see who can let it hang there the longest. Here is my hat. It looks super cute. I love how it turned out. Hi friends. Today for our family challenge, for our New Year's Eve celebration, we have the spoon balancing challenge. Now, everybody in the family, everyone who's participating needs a spoon. Now you could use the same exact spoon. You could use spoons of different sizes. You could even try it with spoons that are really large. I'm using metal spoons, but you could try it with different uh, spoons of different materials to see how they act differently. Now the challenge is to put the spoon on your nose, right? And see who can let it hang there the longest or at all for that matter. <sighs> mine, mine didn't last very long. But your job is to get everybody around the table and in a circle, however you want to do it, and see who can have the spoon hang on their nose the longest. Really fun family challenge game. It's a great way to celebrate and to put a little competition into the, the day. So this has been our New Year's Eve celebration family challenge. Hi friends, happy New Year's Eve. So as part of our New Year's Eve celebration, I'm gonna be showing you one way you can make a New Year's Eve hat. So you've gotta have some awesome attire to wear for your New Year's Eve celebration. So, and I don't have any New Year's Eve stuff right now, so I need a hat. So all you need to make this is a piece of paper, some string, some tape, scissors, and then some crayons or markers to color with. Okay, let's get ready for our New Year's okay, part. So the first step that we're gonna wanna do is we want to turn our piece of paper into a cone shape. So what I would do is face your paper like this towards you, grab one end and start rolling it like a cone. And then it'll kind of look like an ice cream cone sort of. So, once you have a shape how you like, so it's pretty rounded, tilt it a little. Once you have a shape that you like, go ahead and tape it down. Okay, so here's the cone shape that I got. I just taped it down just one time. And I've got all this extra stuff here. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and go straight across on the bottom of my cone. So it'll look something more like this. I still have some extra parts so I'm just gonna cut those right off. Okay, so now we've got our cone. So let's go ahead and decorate this how we want. So I'm gonna probably add Happy New Year in 2021, cause that'll be the new date. All right, let's use our crayons and markers to color. Okay, so now that you have decorated your hat, it's time to add some string to the bottom of your hat so it'll fit around your head. So I'm gonna take a piece about, I would say roughly about 12 inches long, and I'm just going to cut that part off. So I've got my string here, and now I'm just going to poke a couple holes on the side of my hat. So I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna poke one hole on this side. Just like so. And I'm gonna poke another hole on this side. Okay, so now we can attach our string. So I'm gonna fit one end of my string into this hole. And then I'm just going to tie it off, make a little knot here. I'm gonna double knot it. So now, 
it'll stay right there. And I'm gonna do the other thing to the other side. Okay, so now that we've got our string attached, I think we need to make like a little pom-pom for the top. So we can use our string again. And I would just, I would take about six inch of string and cut it. And I would get about six pieces of the string. Okay, so once you have all your string together, I took just a smaller piece of string, probably about roughly like three inches, four inches of string. And I'm just going to put it in the middle of all my pieces of string and tie it down. So I can attach all my string together. So now it'll look something like this. So now I'm going to feed it inside of my hat here and go out the top. So that way I can have a little palm at the top. So now that we have our little pom-pom strings coming out the top, I'm just gonna cut some of them off because they are pretty long. So I'm just gonna cut a few of them. I think that looks a little bit better. All right, let's try on our hat so we are ready for our celebration. All right, so I finished my hat. Here is my hat, it looks super cute. I love how it turned out. And the string actually matches my shirt, so that's kind of fun. So go ahead and try this out at home. Make your own hat to celebrate the new year. This is perfect attire to bring in the new year. So thank you all so much for watching and happy New Year's Eve.